वेलकम बैक टू न्यू सेशन चैप्टर सेवन प्रोजेक्ट कॉस्ट मैनेजमेंट आई एम योर ट्रेनर एंड पीएमपी कोच आनंद दिस इज ओवरव्यू सेशन इन विच यू विल लर्न बेसिक कॉस्ट मैनेजमेंट कॉन्सेप्ट द लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस सेशन आर विल स्टार्ट विद द ओवरव्यू टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज कॉस्ट मैनेजमेंट ट्रेंड्स एंड इमर्जिंग प्रैक्टिसेस टेलरिंग कंसिडरेशन Tailoring considerations for agile and adaptive environment. We'll go through the cost management knowledge area definition. We will list out four cost management processes and understand its purpose. We'll also go through a few cost related terminologies which will be used in uh, different processes. And finally, a quick review. Cost management is very critical to project. Management is always behind project manager to track the expenses on the project. Project manager need to ensure projects are delivered within approved cost baseline. Cost management knowledge area provides cost management framework which helps project manager to develop cost estimate, finalize budget including con contingency reserves. it helps project manager to prepare cost baseline and finally it helps to control the overall project cost throughout the project life cycle what are the trends and emerging practices in cost management as a project manager we have to ensure all project related costs are accounted and included in the cost baseline there are some trends that you have to be aware of project manager has to consider cost associated with all type of resources resource here is not just referring to material or supplies but it also refers to human resources for example resource travel cost resource insurance cost project manager need to identify direct and indirect cost incurred on the project in nutshell all resource cost required to complete the project should be considered during estimation recurring cost we always think about cost associated with building product what about maintaining and supporting the product or services for example license renewal cost these cost should be considered while taking a decision like buying versus building this is also referred as a life cycle your life cycle cost the life cycle cost includes the total cost of ownership earn value management these techniques are used for cost management to understand cost performance index cost variance etc we will talk about this uh, in detail in subsequent processes there are several other cost management consideration pm need to consider like when the cost is incurred on the project when decision of spending is made for example steering committee approves 50000 uh, for advertisement or when order is placed or contract is signed item delivered or actual payment is done in my current organization cost is incurred when invoice is signed by project manager and respective stakeholder and it is sent to finance for processing every organization has a different approach hence specific approach or procedure need to be in place project manager also need to think about return on investment payback period analysis while preparing the budget process tailoring considerations there are a lot of budgeting aspect depends on the organization and how projects are funded hence project manager need to tailor cost management processes to suit the project requirements of course process tailoring is always restricted based upon project governance the key areas where tailoring can be done are organizations estimation and budgeting policies which will be tailored to suit your project requirements earn value management how earn value management is applied on project for cost analysis and forecasting If a project is use, using agile mechanism then approach for costing will be different knowledge management how financial database to be used for estimation 
These databases may be internal to organization or from other industry databases. Governance. Go it is enterprise environmental factor like audits. So how and who will perform the audits? Depends on the project or organization in which project is executed, governance of cost may vary. Considerations for Agile and Adaptive Environment Estimation in traditional projects and adaptive projects are different. In Agile project, spring duration are fixed and team is fixed. In other words, cost and durations are fixed and scope is adjusted. Project manager has to be aware of considerations like lightweight estimation. Used when scope is not finalized and it is used for fast and high level forecast of a labor cost. Detailed estimation used when scope is clear and finalized. It is used for short term horizons. Strict budgeting. High variability projects means they have a constant changing objective and requirement. This will warrant frequent cost adjustment. Strict budgeting is required to ensure there is ROI for the project. Let's take a look at project cost management knowledge area definition. Project cost management include processes involved in estimating, budgeting and controlling cost so that project can be completed within approved budget. Project manager must make sure their projects are well defined, have accurate time and cost estimate and have a realistic budget. The cost management knowledge area contains four processes. First is plan cost management under planning process group. It establishes the policies, procedure and documentation for the project cost. Second, we have estimate cost again under planning process group. It is a process of developing an approximation of a cost needed to complete project activity. So this is where the cost estimation will be done. Third one is determine budget. So this is the process where cost baseline will be finalized. So this is where you will aggregate the estimated cost and get um, stakeholder approval, yeah, uh, agreement with the stakeholder and finalize the cost baseline. And finally, control cost under monitoring and controlling process group. So this is the process of monitoring the cash flow status, updating cost and managing changes to the cost baseline. Of course, we'll go through each of these processes in detail in next session dedicated to each and every process. Let's look at some of the financial terms uh, you need to have a good understanding of these terms for the exam. So we have direct cost, indirect cost, fixed cost, variable cost, opportunity cost and sunk cost. We'll see one by one. Direct cost is a cost that can be directly related to producing the deliverable of the project. For example, salaries, hardware and software purchase for the project. Indirect cost is a cost that are not directly related to the deliverable of the project, but are indirectly related to performing project activities. For example, rent, electricity, internet and office supplies. Some of these examples may fall in either of category based on the context or details provided. For example, Rent can be a direct cost if entire office premises is rented for a specific project. Variable cost. It changes with the amount of production. For example, cost of input material changes as per volume of a production. Let's understand in detail. You are manufacturing 1000 phones per day in your manufacturing plant. The input cost of this will be, for example, $200,000. If a per day production increases to 
2000 from 1000 phones then the input cost will be increased to 400,000 from 200,000. So the conclusion is, if you want to increase the production volume, you will need to increase the input materials resulting in increased input cost. Fixed cost, it does not change with the production. For example, rent, initial setup cost or monthly salary. Think about setting mobile manufacturing factory. The target production capacity of this unit is 1000 mobiles per day. So initially you will incur the overall factory setup cost and machine cost. This initial setup cost is going to stay same or fixed irrespective of factory is fully utilized means you are producing 1000 mobiles per day or maybe you are uh, producing only 500 mobiles per day. Sunk cost. It is a money that has been spent in the past. For example, advertisement cost, marketing study, uh, or research cost. This concept comes from early days when traders use a ship for a trade. Once the ship sails in the deep sea, it is considered as a sunk cost until ship is back to the shore. One of the key point you need to remember for exam is when deciding what project to invest in, you should not include sunk cost. Sunk cost should be forgotten. Opportunity cost is the cost given up by selecting one project over another. It is the cost of project which was not chosen. For example, you have two project, project one costing 20 million to build resort and project two costing 22 million to build a hotel. If you decide to build a resort, the opportunity cost of not building hotel is 22 million. Cash flow. Cash flow refers to the moment of cash into or out of the project. It can restrict or delay execution of the project. It's time for a quick recap of what we had learned so far in this session. This was an overview session. We started with purpose and importance of cost management knowledge area. We gone through trends and emerging practices tailoring considerations, tailoring considerations for agile and adaptive environment. We learn cost management knowledge area definition, list of cost management processes and its purpose. We gone through the cost related terminologies. So great job. See you in next session, plan cost management.